Hi, I'm Jeff, and thanks for checking out the channel. I just wanted to uh, make one uh, update to my video I made for the installation of Ford's uh, cargo container for the back of uh, my Bronco here. And uh, just a couple details on uh, how to make life with it easier. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So as much as I love Ford's enclosure, this thing really is fantastic. I mean, it's just absolutely solid. I can shake the whole vehicle with it. It doesn't rattle. It's just a great piece of gear. But the problem is, is some people have questioned on my uh, videos, can you run the Top of the Pro into the back of the Bronco? And no, you can't. You have to be able to remove this, which is fine. When I'm running with my top on, I'd rather not have this in here because I like the vertical height for storage, putting bigger boxes and stuff into the vehicle. So if my top is on, I just leave this off and that's fine. Leaving the sidewalls in installed for an easy replacement. The problem comes if you want to go and take this out when you remove the fasteners which four of them are very quick to remove and then there's one bolt up at the front wall but when you remove this it wants to fall down inside of the bed not so much of a big deal when you take it off but when you try and put it back on there's nothing to rest the top on so you're trying to balance it with a hand put the uh, top into the vehicle and not have it fall down on either side. So my solution for that was to take some weather sealing available at Home Depot. And with the lid installed, just go ahead and run the rubber gasket firmly up against the bottom of the top, or excuse me, of the bottom edge of the door. And I did that all the way around. And the stuff has a 3M adhesive, so it's very easy to put on. And I just cut a couple little pieces for where it goes around the speaker enclosure. Cuts in just a couple of minutes with a hacksaw. And anyway, I installed that all the way around and I'll show you the advantage of putting the top back on or removing it is that I can go ahead and take all five fasteners out and the top will stay perfectly in place, which is more important when you're putting the top on yourself. Just go ahead and rest the top on your weather stripping that you put all the way around. It will sit perfectly flush. And all you gotta do is jiggle the edge around to find the alignment for your hole in here. So I'll go ahead and remove the five attach points out of here and you'll see that the top doesn't move. It sits nice and level here, which is really nice when you go to reinstall it. Just lift the top over into its position, lower it down onto the weather stripping and it will be perfectly in place and aligned for you to insert the uh, screws to lock it in without it dropping down on the sides back and forth. It's just really hard to put this in solo um, unless you have someone else helping to stabilize it and hold it in place. Trying to get underneath there and put the screws in and keep the little holes aligned while this thing wants to constantly just fall flat down into the uh, back of your Bronco is really a challenge. In addition to the wedge stripping, I made one other change, and that is to the hardware used on the single bolt that goes in the center cross member. Pretty simple little change, but I think it actually uh, made it just a little simpler to modify. So the original hardware from Ford has a nylon lock bolt, which you can't really finger tight. So beyond this point, once the nylon engages, you really can't finger tighten. I found that really inconvenient, so I removed that bolt and now on the passenger side so i still use this hardware on the passenger side of the vehicle but on the cargo side i use the ford washer but i've added one lock washer and a different kind of lock nut that doesn't have the nylon so the advantage of that is this one is really easy to spin on and make nice and finger tight while it's inside the hole here. So that's another mod I find uh, very useful to making this very easy to uh, do solo. So I've already got the center bolt off the center uh, forward wall removed. I've already taken out three of four of these and I'm taking out the last one here. So you can see with them all out, I've got pretty good alignment of the holes, but importantly, none of the uh, fasteners or bolts are in, and the top is sitting pretty close to where it needs to be. 
So you can see how nice this is for single-handedly taking all the bolts out and not having the top drop down on either side as you do it. And also I can just lift the entire top in, set it in place on top of the weather stripping and everything stays in place and I can bolt it in. So I'm gonna recommend this if you're going to be removing the top a lot like I am for uh, being able to get my Top Lift Pro in here to take off the roof of the Bronco. And this is a view with the lid taken off the vehicle and my weather stripping. So you can just see, very simple, just a hacksaw cut. These are the bolt spots for where you attach it after you go back in. You can just see how much easier that is for uh, dealing with. And it doesn't take up any cargo space, essentially. And this is just uh, the product I use, so you can see it. And then plenty of leftover for any actual real doors you may have that you want to use for it. But I believe it was $15 at Home Depot. So just a, a, a great piece of gear to use. And that worked out nicely. And now it makes it really easy for me to get the, uh, the top off the cargo box uh, all by myself.